What's up guys, welcome back. This is the first episode of a new series where I'll be critiquing miniatures sent to me by my patrons. If you're interested in having your work featured in a future episode, you can do so by signing up on my Patreon for as little as $1 a month. All support is greatly appreciated. So today we'll be looking at this Imperial Fist model sent in by James Denny. To start, I'd like to say that you've done a great job on the yellow. It's really nice and vibrant and the battle damage is effective without being overdone. Yellow is one of those colours where it's all too easy to have your highlights dull out or for your shadows to become muddy, but you've managed to avoid both of those. Nicely done. The first main issue for me is that you've gone for quite a large base, but there isn't really that much detail on it. There seems to be quite a lot of wasted space. I think if you're going to go for a base that size you need to put quite a bit of thought into what you're going to put in it. For example you could have a, a busted up rhino sunk into the mud with the character standing on the tank tracks or you could have a, a bunch of slain bodies lying at his feet. Just something to help break up all that mud. The next thing that I noticed was that when I'm looking at the miniature my eye is being pulled downwards specifically to this orange section here and that's just because you've used warm tones in both the miniature and the base. Warm colours tend to draw the eye and make things appear closer so because you've put them in both the marine and the base there's a bit of a conflict of interest happening there. Your brain is telling you to look at the miniature but your eyes are like fuck you brain I want to look at this bit here so your eyes are kind of bouncing back and forth between the two. To help fix that you could go for more of a darker base using colours from the other side of the colour wheel. We'll start off with quite a dark blue grey and already here you can see that you've got more contrast between the figure and the base so your eye isn't drawn down so much but it's a little boring so we'll add some purple now and then if we blend the two together we'll get something like this. That's better but it's still a bit too light so we'll darken it down a bit with some black. Alright so now the base is very much in the background and you have a ton of contrast between it and your miniature. You have both an, a nice complementary contrast between the yellow and the purple but also a contrast between the brightness of the model and the darkness of the base. The next thing that I saw was the blade. It's well painted but it looks quite dull. I think for large sections like this you need to have at least one point of interest. Just something to grab your eye and make you go oh. look at that. That's nice and shiny. You can fix that quite easily by adding a light flare on this part here like so. Just that one change already makes quite a big difference. Another issue for me is the handle. It feels a bit too in your face, probably because it's essentially a spot colour, but you've already got a spot colour with the red here, so the handle seems a bit out of place, and again it tends to draw the eye. But if we darken it down a little with some of the purple from the base, we'll get something like this. And then we can add a couple of bright highlights onto those metal rings, so now your eyes aren't really drawn to that area anymore. The last thing is that there is not enough contrast on these metal parts and it's kind of exacerbated because of the brightness of the yellow. Your overall highlight placements are quite good but you just haven't gone far enough with the contrast so instead of looking metallic you've got quite a stony effect. You can fix that quite easily by simply applying more highlight layers. Ideally you should be going all the way up to white. So if we do that now you can see how big a difference it makes. Alright guys so that's the end of episode 1. Let me know if you'd like to see this continue as a regular feature. I'm planning on doing it once a week, but really it depends on how many people send me their pictures. As I said at the start, if you're interested in having your models featured in a future episode, head on over to Patreon and sign up for as little as $1 a month. Don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks again. Bye for now.